So welcome back. This will be the last uh, lesson and getting expatter set up for MMOs. Uh, the previous two tutorials, if you just now get into this one, you may want to go look at those because we're in the middle of uh, getting this set up. In this chapter, we're going to be learning how we can set up more of the advanced features of controllers inside of uh, an MMO type environment. All right, let's go ahead and tackle how we can get our mouse look set up. As you can see right now, we just basically have cursor mode going. You can see uh, the right sticks in my X-pad right now. They're just moving the cursor. So what we need to do, Guild Wars is a little bit weird with its control scheme. Whenever you uh, hold down the right button and start moving, it doesn't automatically, the cursor doesn't automatically hide itself. Um, so you can have like this cursor wandering around if you're not too careful with the controller setup. I will uh, forego showing that example. I'll just go ahead and get you set up with the, the most solid way of getting uh, mouse look set up without having the wandering cursor uh, plague that used to happen before I figured out the setup. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and assign each of these uh, mouse movement buttons on the right stick a chain of commands that will trick uh, the computer into thinking that your right mouse button is being constantly held down. This will uh, pretty much put you in mouse look mode. Um, we know in regular uh, keyboard and mouse combinations, most people hold down the right mouse button to get that third person control scheme going with WASD and mouse. So let's go ahead and click on the up arrow on our mouse. And I'm going to do this four times since there's four different directions. So you'll have plenty of time to catch what I'm doing. So this brings up the uh, you know familiar keyboard assignment looking uh, window. What we're going to do though, we're going to go to advanced right now. And right now, we basically already have mouse look up assigned. What we're going to do is we're going to press the clear button and just remove everything here. And there's going to be a string of commands we're going to have to input for all four directions to get the right mouse button toggle um, scenario going. So keep with me now. I'm going to go down uh, with the assignment window uh, still uh, up. I'm going to click on that first empty box and I'm going to left click the right mouse button you'll notice it puts the right mouse click and immediately opens up another little box and since this is the up arrow on our stick we're gonna go with the mouse movement up this is the mouse movement up right left down these four little buttons around here are uh, the signified mouse movements so we're gonna press up on the mouse button up on the mouse and then we're gonna use some of these weird little uh, modifiers right here I won't go into too much detail here I'll just teach you what you need to know to get it set up we're going to have to add a release zone. So we're at a release zone. What we're going to have to do though, we're going to have to set the amount of uh, milliseconds it uh, releases. So we're going to set this down to 0.01. So if we click on this little box right here, it sets the time to 0.01 seconds. So that's what you need to know. You need to do release zone at 0.01 seconds right here. Let's go ahead and click our next empty little box. And now let's add a tap time. Basically what this release zone says is, okay, after we press these two buttons together, uh, we're going to release all buttons that come before it, so it's kind of cleared out now. And we're going to go to uh, tap time. Basically the tap time says any button after this is going to be held down for the amount of time you specify here. So tap time, and then we're going to have to increase the amount of seconds here. So I'm going to click 10 seconds, and let's put the uh, plus sign on next to 10 seconds here. And let's make the time, you know, 3 minutes, whatever. So for 3 minutes, the next button that we input here, that button's going to be held for three minutes. So what we're going to do now is, since we want to trick uh, X pattern into holding down the right mouse button at all times, uh, we're going to go ahead and click the right mouse button again. So basically, this long string of commands here uh, tell the game, tell X pattern to look up while at the same time always hold down the right mouse button. So this right here is telling it to start looking up and release that and then go ahead and tap the right mouse button for three minutes and keep that held down we're gonna hit OK let's go through and set up the other directions like that so I press right on the stick go to advanced let's clear that out alright follow me here we're gonna do right mouse click uh, right mouse arrow direction we're gonna add a release time and we're gonna have to set that release time to 0.01 seconds and we're gonna add a light blue add tap time and we're going to set that tap time to three minutes or so it doesn't really matter and then we're going to highlight the last little box there and press right mouse button again 
All right, let's do it for down. Press down on the stick, advanced, clear that out. Right mouse click, mouse arrow down, uh, release zone at 0.01 seconds. I, this little shortcut immediately sets it at 0.01 seconds. We'll add another little uh, hold time. And we'll increase this in our seconds uh, plus sign right there to around 3 seconds. And then for the last box, we'll do right click. We'll press OK. And one last time. Let's clear that out. Right click. Left mouse. Release zone to release these two commands so that we can set up. Remember, release zone at 0.01 seconds. So I press 0.01 seconds. And then we're going to add that hold time. It's called tap time in XPatter. And we're going to hold for three minutes and then select the last little box and do right mouse click. Alright, basically what this sets up is a look zone that always, no matter what you do, you're always holding down the right mouse click and we're able to look up, down, left, right. And now we're basically in third person control mode. Alright, now that's set up. Let's look and see how we can start setting up our cursor mode. Okay. The first thing we have to do is we have to set the back button up because when you hold the back button it's going to switch to MMO UI and everything's going to be gravy. All right, so we'll s click on the back button and we're not we're still not going to assign it anything, but we are going to go to advanced and we're going to go to set selector in the advanced window. On enabled, we're going to go down to MMO UI while held. This is basically going to tell XPatter that while the back button is held, we're going to OK that. While the back button is held, it's going to switch to this tab. So if I hold the back button now, notice how I switch between the two profiles. And while the back button is held, I have access to all these new commands we'll have to set up in a second. All right. So that's one next thing knocked out. Let's go down here and click MMO UI. Now we're going to have to assign button presses down here. All right. So let's just start with our left and right click. I'm going to click left trigger and let's set it to left click right here. Right trigger will be right click. All right, great. Um, let's set up our mouse, uh, camera zoom in and out. And I like to set it as uh, left bracket and right bracket. All right, great. What we're going to do now is we're going to set start to the escape button over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the right stick back into uh, mouse normal. So this will give us that uh, mouse um, look that we want to have. This will allow us to control our cursor in this mode. And for the face buttons, I like to just to assign them uh, generic uh, little you know, punctuation marks. There's minus, there's equals, and it doesn't matter what you set up as long as you know it stays towards the right hand of the keyboard. Because remember, we want to preserve that left hand of the keyboard for regular mouse and keyboard controls. Alright, so next thing I want to do is I want to assign my right stick to something. So let's just do like a, a backspace or a forward space, whichever one you want to do. And we're pretty much set up with control, uh, assigning our controls here. Now we have to set up the, when you release the back button, the cursor springs to the middle. Okay, so we've got our camera look. We've got our back button set up to switch to our UI mode. Now we have to get the spring set up to put our uh, mouse cursor back in the center of the screen. So let's switch over to our MMO UI again. And this is going to be a little weird, so bear with me. We're going to click our back button here. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we have to uh, assign the back button to control the cursor. So to do that, we're going to go to the little wrench in the mouse area. This is kind of mouse buttons. So we'll go to the wrench here. We'll click OK. Let's see. Actually, I think we need to uh, assign it. Yeah, let's assign it mouse button up first. All right. So when we go back to our little wrench, it brings up mouse settings now. And these are three different little mouse modes. Uh, look, camera, cursor, and spring. Spring is what you're going to use. Spring is what springs it back to the center of the screen. And we're going to hit OK. And then, so we have our back button set up as spring. But it's not really, oh, there we go. But you'll notice that the spring 
isn't really reliable. It can go up here, it can go right here. So we need to add a few extra controls or commands to that back button to get it to spring exactly where we want it. So let's go back to MMOUI. And let's go back to our mouse button up. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a few commands in our string right here. Let's go ahead and clear it out for right now. We're going to add a release zone at 0.01 seconds. So I'm going to select my release zone, make that 0.01 seconds, and then this is genius. We're going to add a tap time at, let's say, 3.03 milliseconds or so, 0.03 seconds. And then we're going to go ahead and select our last one and do the mouse arrow up. Basically what this does is it says, okay, release whatever you're doing, and then for 0.03 seconds, you're going to move the mouse up. And what it, this, this basically just ensures that, let me go back to MMO, this ensures that your cursor is going to go in the same position each time. What happens if you want your, your cursor a little bit above the head? Because right now we just have it straight at the head of the character. Well, you can control this by going back to your back button in MMOUI. Let's go to advanced. We can control the time of the tap held. So I can increase this to 0.05. Let's do something big like 0 .0, by 0.1 seconds. Look what happens now. Notice how the cursor moves up even further. That's because we're holding the mouse up button for 0.1 seconds. That's a little too much. So we're gonna go back to MMOUI, back to our back button. Let's go to the Advanced tab, and we're going to set this at 0.05 seconds. I find that 0.05 is a nice little spot. It puts the cursor right above the head, and it makes that MMO, uh, that AOE targeting just a little bit easier. So let's test out what we have. We're going to go back to MMO, and now we have the cursor flying back to the exact same position each time right above our character's head. All right, great. Uh, that pretty much almost uh, clears things up, but sometimes you'll notice as you're playing with two different uh, tab st uh, settings right here sometimes you'll get stuck in MMOUI UI, even after you release the back button for whatever reason and your kind your controls are kind of messed up I like to add a fail safe in MMOUI I like to set all of my left stick commands to let's go click on our up advanced set selector and we go to MMO one way so now when I'm in MMOUI if I get stuck there, all I have to do is press a movement key, and I'm automatically back to MMO. This will keep you from getting stuck in the MMO, MMO UI mode. So let's just do that for each one. So we're going to select right, go to set selector, set it to MMO one way. This basically says if I press this button, it's going to automatically go to MMO, uh, and it's going to stay there. It's not going to go back. So this is kind of like a fail, a fail safe that I've figured out. Set selector. MMO one way and remember this is your MMO this is what it's saying so to clarify again I'm going to click left right here I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to go to set selector and I'm going to tell it anytime I press this button I want it to switch back to the very first profile right here which has all of our movement and ability buttons there we go so that's basically uh, set up on everything all that's left to do now is to assign the uh, buttons inside of the game of your choice. So for Guild Wars, I'll just go to my control options. You'll notice I have all my custom keyboard settings on this side, and here are all of my uh, custom settings for um, my controller. So if I wanted to move forward, I'll just double click there, and I would take my controller and I press up on the stick. It's automatically mapped to up arrow. I'll hit accept. If I wanted to uh, change my I'll unbind this so you can see what I'm doing here. So it's not bound. I'll weapon skill one. I'll press the right trigger because that's what I like my weapon skill to be. Do that. So switch weapons. Let's unbind that. I want my switch weapons to be hold left bumper. So it says left control and press A with numpad two. So the game automatically knows I'm holding down a key modifier and I'm pressing the A button. So you can go through and you'll have to set up your keybinds just the way you like them. But this is, you know, it's up to you on how you want your control layout to be. But we've already accomplished all we set out to do. We got our mouse look mode going. We have our UI mode going. We have our spring back working. And everything's great. A uh, few other things, little settings you may want to play with to get things feeling just right. 
you may want to change your sensitivity of your uh, mouse look. All you got to do is come down to your uh, little wrench for your mouse movement we have set up here. We'll go to the wrench. Uh, I think it's, is it mouse settings? There we go. Wrench, mouse settings. And then we can control the speed at which they move. I like to move them together. And this will control how fast the arrows move your control stick. So that's a little bit faster, right? This is something you'll play with to get it at the right speed. There we go. That's a little bit better. And we'll hit OK there. Um, we might have to set a dead zone so you know your stick may be a little old and your mouse could start wandering because it's there is no dead zone set up. So we'll go to our uh, mouse look, which is our right stick. Hit the wrench. We'll go to settings this time, and we can set the dead zone. So notice if I set my dead zone too small. I'm constantly pressing buttons even though the sticks you know not being touched I increase my dead zone to about 30 percent it only ensure that if my sticks aren't completely at rest it's not messing with things too much alright um, I'm gonna go ahead and save this again and that pretty much wraps it up for the advanced uh, controls there um, I don't really have too much more to teach you uh, you might have to pause and rewind and look at things a little bit more carefully Hopefully I didn't make any mess ups with terminology or anything to confuse you. And uh, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments. And uh, I don't really care if you subscribe or like. That's pretty stupid. I'm just getting that out there so other people can uh, enjoy the joy of being controller uh, active and keyboard free. Alright, um, I might make another video that shows some combat and different situations. But for right now, I'm kind of tired of hearing myself talk. So... Uh, keep it keep it I guess uh, on the sticks and uh, I might make some more videos in the future bye guys